don't know how this works. Right. My name is John S. I, uh, I, I was at the bar down the street and I saw, I saw a sign and I decided to come in. A bar down the street, that's, that's gotta be weird for you guys. Huh? I mean, every time you come here, you gotta see that. I, I've had a rough couple of days. Rough couple of years. Look, <laughs> I don't want—I don't want to bring you guys down. Um, funny story. Funny story. This actually happened to me today. I locked myself out of my apartment, and you know that, guys. You know that, that sucks. You know, I don't—I don't know about you guys, but. You know, when you're out all day doing what it is you do, you know, I don't know about you guys, but I work hard. And just just to get on that bus after a long fucking day. Can can I curse? I, okay. So you think you're going to you know, you think you're going to you're going to get home and just you know, crack open a bottle, sit on the couch and just watch the latest Law and Order spin off the wrist and just sum the fuck out. And when you get home, no keys. And, um, you know this isn't a quick fix. You know you're just gonna be leaning against that door for 30 minutes, smoking cigarettes, just fucking dreaming of what's waiting for you on the opposite side. So, I call the locksmith. And he shows up two hours later. So, you know, he's he's working at the lock, you know, he's trying to get it open, and I have this moment of panic. Because I know what's waiting for me on the opposite side of that door. Now, I'm not going to lie, you know, ever, ever since I was a little kid, I've, I've always been messy. I mean, shit. My mom always used to yell at me, you know, John, pick up your Legos. John, get your bike out of the driveway. Told you a million times. John, put your dishes in the dishwasher. I'm telling you, man. Beginning of every every school year, I would hit the ground running. You know, I would I would I would tell myself, you know what, John? This is gonna be the year that you you unfuck yourself. You know, you're gonna get everything right. You're gonna do it correctly. You know, get everything just organized. You're gonna get the pen, the papers, the binders, the rulers, the staplers. You know, you're just gonna have it all all zipped up, organized, just. just just ready to go. Then, you know, three days later, it's back to old habits. You, you're asking the the poor fucker next to you for a pen or a pencil every two seconds. You know, you, you lost all your pens. Uh, I you know my uh, my stapler I've been using it so much, letting everybody else use it. It's it's jammed up now. You know the damn things and uh, the the notebook. You know the 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 rings. You know, the, it's misaligned, so every time you turn the page, it just rips or all the damn papers just fall out. <laughs> what was I talking about? Right, panic. So, he gets the door open, and he takes one look inside my apartment. And, and immediately he looks at me and he says, Jesus, buddy, I think you've been robbed! My place was so fucked up. He actually thought some maniac had just came in and ransacked the place. <laughs> and I'm just standing there like, oh, th that's, that's horrible. <laughs> and immediately he pulls out his phone to call the police. And I'm like, no, don't worry about it. I'll just go in and I'll, I'll see what's missing. I'll, I'll call the police. Don't worry about it. And he looks at me and says, you, you sure, buddy? Are, are you going to be alright? And I was like, yeah, I'll be alright. You know, and just just for good measure, I threw in a, God damn it! <laughs> so, so he leaves, and I'm just right there like, <sighs> damn, <laughs> relief, you know, I, I, I dodged that one. So I'm standing there, and I'm laughing to myself, and yeah, my, my place is a mess. You know, I got in uh, 30 days worth of garbage. 
you know, uh, just sitting there, you know. No, the dumpster's a 30-second walk from my apartment. They're just, they're just sitting there. I haven't hung a single article of clothing since I moved. My floor has basically become my closet. I, I've got I've gotten used to washing the dishes that I need, so it's like only that top layer is being washed, and everything under is just like the abyss, you know. The the crowning achievement are the bottles, beer bottles, liquor bottles, just bottles everywhere, you know, on the shelves. I have a a guest bedroom I never use, completely devoid of furniture. Just the floor is just covered from wall to wall of bottles. And I know what you're thinking. Why? And I have an answer for that. Security. Because as I'm sleeping at night, I know for a fact that you are not going to break into my apartment without me hearing you breaking some shit. <laughs> I don't know. Um, <laughs> maybe, uh... Um, laziness. You know, I'm I'm a bit lazy, and I was think and I, I and I was thinking to myself like, maybe I could do something positive with this. I can recycle these. You know, do do my part for global warming, global warming or whatever. You know, and uh and I thought to myself, whatever I'm put towards these bottles, like whatever I make off these bottles, I could put to put to having more bottles. And when that idea hit me, I was like, I gotta be organized. I gotta have it, have it ready. You know, I gotta have a system. You know, like the, the basically the the kitchen table, the bottles on the kitchen table, under the kitchen table. You know, put them over here. The, the the bottles on the shelves and under the shelves. You know, put them over here. The bottle on the coffee table and under the coffee table. Put them over here. And then I get to the guest bedroom. In all of its glory. And I'm, I'm looking at these bottles and I'm like. I can't throw these away. I, I've earned these. You know, these. I, I've earned each and every single one of these bottles. These bottles. Each one of these bottles has a memory inside of it. You know, like the bottle of Tres Generations that my best friend brought back from Mexico. The bottle, the bottle of of Sky that I jacked from my sister's wedding reception. A bottle of pop off that I bought when my uh, father told me I had ruined the wedding. I was no longer welcome in his house anymore. The multiple bottles of Jack that I bought when my girlfriend left me. thinking, you know, some, some guy is just in, in his apartment all day, just drinking his, wasting away, you know, he's wasting his life, but by collecting each, each one of these bottles, I'm, I'm accomplishing something, it's an, an actual, tangible result. Something, something I can, I can touch. Something that will never leave me. Like, I'm like everything else that has left me. So there I am, standing there looking at these bottles. <laughs> My life. because some fucking locksmith thought that some maniac had broken into my house and I was just too ashamed to tell him otherwise. And then it hit me. Everything that I ever... Everything that I ever lost is because of these bottles.
lot of bad things these bottles brought with them. Everything everything that I pushed out of my life has been pushed to make more room for this for this collection of glass. It's a problem. Because I don't want to lose anything else. I don't think I have anything else. I just don't want to lose anything else. I just don't want to lose anything else. I think. I think I might be an alcoholic. 